So I'm just going to film a wee quick um, video just to show what we've got for Teddy arriving. So we're getting a Newfoundland puppy and he's arriving on Sunday, so five days time. And this is just a wee puppy haul of all the stuff that we've bought um, for his arrival. So I think we went a wee bit overboard. We probably bought more than we actually need, but we were just kind of stressing, um, you know, do we have everything we need? And we kept going back to the shop and buying more stuff. So we bought the vet bed non-slip from Pets at Home. I think that was £35. Um, we're going to use this for his crate um, just so that he's got something nice and comfortable to lie down on. We've actually bought two of these and that's just in case there's any accidents. Apparently it's really easy to wash. Um, we have bought the pooper scooper from Pets at Home um, just to pick up his wee bits of business that he leaves and also the spray for any accidents that he has at home. Um, we've bought this Drinkwell pet fountain. Um, now, this was the largest one that I could find because obviously the Newfoundland's quite a large or giant breed as they call it. Um, so I think this was about £70 and we got this on Amazon. The reason that I bought this is we've got two ragdoll cats and um, we use the cat mate water fountain for them. And it's really good. I think it helps them, encourage, encourages them to basically drink the water because it's running. Um, so we thought this would be good for the dog as well. Just some treats up there that we've also bought. Um, just some puppy treats and also an antibacterial blanket as well for his crate. Um, if you know about Newfoundlands, you'll know that they're notorious for drilling. So we've been told that we'll need some um, disc cloth towels just to obviously wipe off any drool. Um, that's just like a bouncy toy ball thing that we got. The kids picked that up for them. Just some water balls. Um, some collars and leads, some toys that the kids picked out just to hopefully keep him amused and happy. Um, some treat, training treat bags just to put treats in while we train him. Um, just another water bowl there. Um, a bath towel for when he's wet and um, just to dry him off. Another bowl, some shampoo, some grooming stuff, some more toys there. Um, we went for the toothpaste and finger brush just to begin with, just to get him used to us brushing his teeth. Um, we thought that would be a good idea. Um, we bought the Mucky Paw Dog Mat, um, which apparently is really good for getting all the, the mud and all the wee bits of debris and stuff like that when he's been on walks, getting that off him. Um, some more toys, as I say, some grooming stuff. We bought quite a lot of chew things because obviously he's a puppy, he will be um, biting quite a lot. So we got some, um, quite a few bits of different chew toys just to obviously help with his teething. And that's just a wee harness. I don't think he'll be big enough to wear that harness right away. So we probably won't fit that for another couple of months, but we thought we would try that for him. Um, some poo bags, again just up there, just some more toys. Um, we'll let our kids, or we'll get six year old triplets and we'll let them pick out the toys for the dog because we thought that would be fun for them. So all these toys are the toys that they've picked out for them. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much everything so far. Um, but I think we've got enough. Um, and we're just counting down until his arrival. So he's coming on Sunday. And um, we've never had a Newfoundland before, but we're super excited. We've always wanted a Newfoundland. Um, so we'll keep you posted with other videos when he arrives and how we go on with his training and things like that. Thank you.